Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 27th. Uh, this is going to be part one, and we are going to do a Celtic cross, even though, yes, I understand that this is not how you lay out a Celtic cross. Uh, it's basically a Celtic cross. Uh, and then I'm also going to do a part two to this reading as like a bonus, and that will be linked up down below. So make sure to check that out here, Aries. But uh, Aries, you start off with the Ten of Swords in your current general energies. So some of you obviously experiencing an ending. Wouldn't even worry about it. You, in the area of your future feelings, you have this Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a card of fortune after difficulty. So really, we could look at this as a blessing in disguise. He is actually making a symbol with his hand right there. And that symbol is the same symbol that the Hierophant is making. The symbol represents like a blessing and the Ten of Swords can represent a blessing in disguise. Ten, like a lot of people say the Ten of Swords is the worst card in the deck. I don't really think tarot is good or bad. To me, it, it's like we shouldn't be attaching that much feeling to the tarot. It, it is meant to be very loose advice. I do this for a living and I always tell people it should be just like the little, a little sprinkle on top of your life. Very, very light advice and should not be taken very seriously at all, right? So I always tell people this should just be light advice, plain and simple. But the Ten of Swords, a lot of people say it's very bad, but I'm always like, yeah, but it's something that needs to die in your life anyway. It's something that needs to be released. So I do feel that some of you are releasing something, but it's probably a blessing in disguise, clearly with the Ten of Cups as your future feelings. Uh, next, you have the Knight of Cups as your crossing energy. It's like, I, I think this is the thing that is maybe preventing you from moving forward. We can see here on this card that he's not crossing that river that is in front of him. The Knight of Cups can represent love, and it can represent a knight in shining armor, but he is also in the desert. And what he needs to realize is that if he planted seeds along this river, even though he is in the desert, the seeds would grow. So the Knight of, knight of Cups as a crossing energy can represent kind of like not getting started. It can represent an energy that says you have everything you need to create your Ten of Cups, but you just have to plant those seeds. You just have to take action. You just have to make something happen. I'm wondering if some of you have like experienced a loss that, you know, this this strikes me kind of as being zeroed out. And maybe this is something that's happened over the past few years, Aries. And what being zeroed out is, is it's kind of like being reduced down to something like just like, imagine you go through a very deep breakup or a very, um, you know, long divorce or something like that. You know, people typically reach that point of being uh, zeroed out, or maybe you've lost your dream job or career. Uh, that's kind of like that rock bottom energy that we get with the Ten of Swords. I feel the universe is trying to say, no, there's like much more for you. <laughs> you, you just have to start planting seeds. Uh, the good news is, is that in the area of your thoughts, you have the magician. So regardless of what's going on for you here, Aries, it's like you can't help but think of new things that you want to create and manifest in your life. You can see that he has these flowers in front of him on the card. The flowers just say that he understands that he has to focus on things that bring in joy, happiness, love, all those other feelings. That's that's like what where his attention needs to go so that he can manifest whatever he wants. He needs to think of happiness, joy, and all these other things. And so I feel that for you with the magician card. Uh, he is also going through a major change. There is this snake that is eating its own tail on the card wrapped around his waist. And the snake eating its own tail, the Ouroboros, represents like life and death, you know, uh, like a rebirth or changing. Really on the magician, it kind of is more a symbol of that gives you permission to change. You know, if we try to change life, a lot of the times some people in our life, life, lives won't like it, right? It's like if you ever tried to make a big change or something like that, maybe people have prevented you or tried to stop you from making that change. It's like people don't want us to change because they don't want to lose us and uh, you know people who are close to us. So it's like, do people really do it to be toxic? Probably not. And, you know, I'm sure there are some cases where people don't want us to change for toxic reasons. But um, you know, people they get into comfort zones, and we become part of their comfort zone. They don't want us to leave that comfort zone, so they try to get us to not change. But uh, I feel like the magician gives us permission to change. The magician says, no, you are not a robot. You are not uh, a statue. 
you're not meant to be the same for the rest of your life. You are meant, you are allowed to change. You are allowed to change your ideas, your beliefs, your thoughts. Even in this first diagonal, or the second diagonal, we go to the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a totally new thoughts. It is totally new beliefs. It, it is something new. He is, he represents studiousness. He represents learning. And it's like, where do we learn when we do something new? <laughs> so that's what you're doing here, uh, Aries. I'm also getting this message here in the first row that is like saying, like, I feel like you are seeing what you've been missing out. Those are the words I think I'm getting popping into my head right now. It, it's like you see where you have been missing out. And what I mean by that is it's like maybe you've been holding on to a relationship. And But I feel like with the Queen of Swords, it, it's really popping into my head here with this Queen of Swords. It's almost like it's almost like you're seeing what you could have and that that's like so much better, you know, and so maybe you've been in a relationship or maybe you've been thinking about a past person. And and to me, this Queen of Swords is saying that you're having this realization like, oh my God, like <laughs> what, have I, what have I been holding on to for so long? Same thing with like a job or a business. It's like maybe even kind of like going back and forth, thinking about leaving something behind. And with that Queen of Swords, it's almost like you're seeing something else. Like she is finally clear. She has no clouds above her head. So she sees things clearly now. And that's I feel that energy for you. I really feel that's the most important part of this reading. In the area of your foundation, you have the strength card. I feel like you are very strong. I feel like you're being seen as very strong as well. It's also popping into my head that you have made up your mind. On the on the strength card, you have this figure eight above her head. Uh, same thing on the magician as well. He also has a figure eight, the infinity symbol, above his head. It kind of represents for both of them that they come from infinite source intelligence and that they are capable of growth. They are capable of creating whatever they want, whatever they put their energy into. In the infinity symbols, you, you put energy out, it comes back around to you. So for a lot of you, this is popping into my head that you've made up your mind. It really doesn't matter like what influences enter into your life. The strength card represents a daily practice. It's like, you know, if you want to move cross country and your parents are like, oh no, that's dangerous. I don't want you to leave and all this other stuff. If you've made up your mind, it's like, yeah, maybe you're going to have to every single day tell yourself, no, I'm doing this. But I do get a kind of more of a stubborn energy here, but in a good way, Aries, where you've made up your mind to be successful. <laughs> uh, there's nothing, there's really nothing wrong with that. Uh, next in the area of the past, this is the energy that you are moving past. You have the five of wands. Love it. Five of wands is a card of conflict and competition. Uh, it's like you're making a final decision with that queen of swords. Again, I, I really feel that queen of swords is, is like a dominant energy in your reading. Every, sometimes I do a reading and, and kind of like one card seems to be the main energy. And that's what I'm getting there. It's not always true. Sometimes, you know, I just, everything is important. And I'm not saying that these cards, other cards aren't important, but she seems to be kind of like dominating your reading here. And I feel like it's saying you've made up your mind to move past something that causes conflict in your life. And uh, I, I really like that for you. I'm getting like a weird story as well. This might only be for some of you here, Aries, that it's like if you're like kind of with a person in a situationship, it's she realizes that she's worth all of someone's attention, not just part of it. And um, so if that makes sense for you, I see you kind of like maybe moving away from a situation where you're not getting 100% of someone's attention. Uh, next in the area of your near future, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I love the Eight of Pentacles. To me, the Eight of Pentacles is quick results, quick success, or just direct results. Meaning if you put energy into something, magician, strength card, both of those cards are saying to me that you're putting your energy into something. Uh, you know, those cards to me say that you're going to be finding success very quickly. Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. It's also a card of mastery as well. But for you, I feel like it's just saying you're going to be seeing results very, very quickly. And it kind of seems to be like the, you know, theme of 2021 for you, even though we're, I, I know we're entering into 2022, but all of 2021, and I'm sure this is going to continue into 2022, it's kind of like you're, I feel like you're realizing something that is going to lead to a lot more fulfillment, Ten of Cups. Uh, next, in the area of the next few months, you have the Page of Pentacles, learning something new. I, I, I just see you entering into like a new world. This could be you getting a job that you've never done before, getting into a relationship with a person that isn't like the past people that you've dated. It's like there's that, that type of change where you feel 
that you're entering into a new world and you're just kind of learning from the experience. Some of you could even be like, I'm even getting like, some of you could be moving to like a foreign country or something like that where you're just not used to the culture or whatever. And it's like, you're kind of learning all over again. I'm kind of seeing him as like a baby in my head and I'm not calling you a baby, but <laughs> what I am saying is like, it, it's almost like you're kind of entering into something completely fresh, like, you know, completely brand new. And that's really the energy that I'm getting for you here. I like this quite a bit for you, Aries, actually. I wouldn't say it's like a, a completely clean slate, fresh start, but I kind of feel like you're entering in a situation at, like it's popping into my head as like a baby. Uh, next in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Ten of Cups, uh, fortune after difficulty, happiness. Uh, coming up in your closest relationships, amazing. So this actually tells me that for the most part, people are going to be very supportive of you. They're, you know, Your family is going to be very important with the Ten of Cups. It's part of reunions, happiness. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of good energy. If you're looking for love, by the way, I am getting dating. Uh, Ten of Cups is sometimes a clue card for me. And sometimes I feel it's talking about needing to date, needing to get out there and meet new people. And uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Queen of Swords. Very matter of fact energy. She is like, you know, she says some, her word is a law, right? She says something and that's it. So you are very matter of fact at this time. It's like you're very focused and you see exactly what you want. And because of that, your outcome is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is like planting seeds. It is putting in the work. Six of Pentacles is uh, can represent equal give and take, but it can also represent only investing in things that give energy back to you, kind of like the Justice card. And the only reason I'm saying this is because of the Magician and the Strength card. I'm really focused on the infinity symbol above both of their heads. And it's really saying to me that you are very focused on situations where there's good equal give and take. And we're going to pull one of these Oracle cards here. You have this thinker card from the wisdom of the Oracle. And the thinker card kind of says like, look at this. She is sitting on this pedestal here. And there's one that's higher right here, if I can get my finger over there. So she needs to like upgrade. It's time for an upgrade. And really, that's what I feel like your reading is saying is that you are upgrading your life. Like all 2021, Aries, your readings were about you expanding, becoming bigger in life and moving on to something new. Uh, this year, you will have Jupiter enter into your sign in May in 2022. And then in 2023, it'll officially enter into your sign. Uh, that's pretty good. So, you know, it makes sense to me that a lot of you could be upgrading or experiencing some upgrades in your life. These upgrades are going to make you feel very stable as well. I'm getting on this thinker card. It's like finally you're feeling stable. I'm not saying things are going to be perfect by any means. I don't think our lives ever are truly perfect. But, you know, I, I think that you're, there's a certain level of stability here, whether that's financial, love, or otherwise. I feel that you kind of feel like you have a good foundation, which is really nice as well. Again, some of you could be moving. Uh, looks really good. So thank you for being here, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to check out part two of the reading. I have it linked up down below. And uh, that's that. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.